Okay, we got 110 floors. 11,000? 650. 110 times... 5,500 for 6,000. 6,354. It's got 6,514 windows, some 26,000 panes of glass. That can't be right. We took the glass out, we pulled it all apart, we vigorously cleaned it, and we did something else. We reused all the glass in the building. So we took those dual pane windows and made them R8. The R value is a technical measurement of the resistance to heat flow. So the higher the number, the better. High R value windows are built in a unique way. They have multiple chambers separated by suspended film. That clear film goes in, it goes in with a special set of spacers and other sealants. Then we fill it with gas. That further improves the R value to get all the way to 400% improvement. Saving just on the windows alone, some $410,000 a year. Commercial buildings are about 18% of our total energy use. So it's a pretty significant slice. The median lifespan of a commercial building in the United States is something like 70 years. We have to look at things like retrofitting because we already have a lot of our commercial buildings and we want to keep using them. Retrofitting for energy efficiency is not new. Doing it on the level that the Empire State Building did in a 1931 building is rare. It wasn't until we and others could get payback down to three years that it made business and financial sense. We as a company have been involved in some 70,000 projects. The best known is the Empire State Building. The least known is Mrs. McGillicuddy's house somewhere. People want to upgrade their homes, and they can. As these technologies continue to come down in cost and, and go up in performance, you know, then it makes more sense. This was a two-year process at the Empire State Building. They're unsuccessful if that's the only building that gets done. Look what we learned. You should go take what we did and do it to all of your buildings as well.